So today we are in beautiful Los Angeles, California, and it's uh, August, right, in 2023, and we are right after the Hillary hurricane, what passed by, and I got this car especially for hurricane for the weekend. I was preparing myself and my family in case it's going to be flooded all, all, everywhere, and we can drive it through on a nice, beautiful blue color Jeep Wrangler Sahara. But it didn't happen. I mean, it was heavy rain. It was beautiful, nice. I do like it because everywhere it's going to get green soon in about a week. So, so thank you so much, Hillary, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> so thank you so much, Hurricane, for making Los Angeles green again. And this car, it's a 2024 Jeep Wrangler 4XE plug-in Sahara. And I want to tell you my experience what I got from this car and what I'm going to get later on. So we do have this as a plug-in PEF and four-cylinder engine and it has 375 horsepower which is 100 less from 6.4 Hemi V8 Jeep Wrangler. It's kind of impressive because it getting about six seconds zero to 60 and uh, I would say wow for the Jeep four-cylinder engine my first opinion on the engine, I was thinking that's the Mercedes 2.0 turbo engine because where the engine came from. But I think I might be right a little bit. I didn't do the research on that yet, but definitely I will do so because the Jeep, it's a Daimler Chrysler. So Mercedes kind of part of that. So we'll see how long it's going to last and uh, what kind of animal I got. I have no idea yet, but what I can say between the previous body or the previous year, like 2018, I do have a V6 engine, it's quite different because it's not lifted. And now I know why people lifting all the Jeeps Wranglers, because you cannot go over the rocks or do the heavy off-roading just because I can see the frame and it's kind of low position of that. So it's quite not that high. So basically any other SUV like Honda Pilot, Mike can do the same if you get in the stock Wrangler. Maybe not. I didn't get a Rubicon, so because it was not available in the color, I do one. So means I'm not getting those kind of tires and wheels. So it's not AT, like I say, or MT tires. It's just regular Korean Nexon made uh, tires. And I do not have any of the lockers for the differential. I mean, differential, the probably the low. Yeah, I do have it, but not the rear, not the front one. And I do have same suspension as the old one it has only two axles one on the front one on the back so what brings us back to 90s we have a frame we have a body it's all married together it's quite not so easy to get a colorful beautiful nice wrangler right now because they're going so fast so i was trying to get between uh between yellow to be honest and the blue so the blue color was available only the sahara maybe someone else has the the Rubicon but again I like the Jeep the way it's supposed to be not gray or dark or white I like to be blue or the green so that's why I got this one as a Sahara and again it's just for my experience to see how it's gonna go with Sahara and uh, on regular tires not off-road one but uh, definitely I'm gonna try to do the off-road on that car so there is a lot of things optional like this uh, sound system Alpine I think it's together with the screen, so you might gonna get the same Sahara but with no screen or with no Alpine, but the way this car was built, that was included, but it is optional. Even the hooks painted in the blue color, it is optional. I didn't know that. So the roof on this car, it's painted not black. It is painted same as the body and it is an optional. And what else? The front camera and some other options I do have on this car it is optional. So you can get it or didn't get it. So which going to bring this car much cheaper. But like I say, for this car, 64 or 65,000 MSRP, it's quite a lot because the Wrangler itself, you can buy it for 30, 35 with no problem. Maybe if it's S or Sport S, it's much cheaper, but I didn't want that car. So I want something like you, something like this in this beautiful blue color. 
Uh, what about the space? I mean, space remained in the same as an old car before. Uh, the design remained in the same. We do have a lot of different things. The new one, like the grill, the bumpers a little bit redesigned, the interior redesigned, and I do have the blind spot assistance on this car, which is kind of cool. I, honestly, I never see the Wrangler with blind spot assistance before. Maybe just me, maybe they are available several years already, but usually I was not thinking about the Wrangler to be with those kind of options. Because it's a Wrangler. I mean, who cares about the blind spot or line keeper or Distronic Plus, but this car Distronic Plus and the sides, blind spot assistance on the sides. Those, those are cool options. So design on Wrangler 2024 remaining the same. What I do like about those, they changed the headlights because the first generation of those cars on new body, on the regular one of Sahara, the lights, the headlights, it was such a bad light at night. So we got the front camera, like I say, and the cool thing about this car, about this option, we do have a washer for the camera, for the back and for the front. Again, I have no idea if that option was exist before, but for the heavy rain, I mean heavy dirt or mud or snow, it's a cool option. I don't know it's cool for, but again, if you want to use the camera during the, during the winter time and it's heavy snow outside, why not? You know, you can see what's going on in the front of the car. So under the hood, we do have some wires for the for the hybrid system, we do have the AC compressor, same as the Prius. It's basically an electric one. It's not, it's not going by belt. It's working itself from the power. So what I can see right here, like I said, there is a small four cylinder engine with a lot of different stuff sitting around it. But the first thing I can see the belts, the serpentine belts, not serpentine, the belts for the alternator and what else we got here uh for the pump right engine pump and the belts are made in china so right now there is a lot of parts made in mexico in china there is a tires from korea and probably there is a lot of different things what's coming from other countries and the car getting assembled in the united states made in the united states i mean it is made in the united states but from the components from all around the world that's kind of cool. So that's supposed to bring the value of the car, supposed to be supposed to bring the price for this car a little bit cheaper because they get in the parts cheaper, but it's not. In reality right now, nothing is getting cheaper. Even the jeeps, I was thinking they're supposed to get much cheaper and the lease or finance, even the price for this car is supposed to go down since right now market kind of not uh going up i would say we just kind of recession <laughs> in the used car market automotive market because there is a lot of cars on the market available and everybody fighting for the place to be to get their own customers but reality is the prices are not cheaper and it's not going down anytime soon so they are like i say in my news channel not getting enough supplies from the factory and the factory itself not getting enough supplies for the parts so what brings the value not up it brings it all down i mean it the value of the car not going down it's going up every month and i don't know what's going to happen next but the payments for that car for example like two years ago my friend when he got it for 500 a month and i was saying it's kind of a lot but right now it is between seven and eight fifty a month. I'm like, uh, okay. So what can we do? Nothing. If you want to get new car, that's the money you have to pay. So in my understanding of getting the Wrangler, getting the Jeep, and I think the designer or whoever building the Jeep right now, in their understanding also, the Jeep Wrangler, there is the same iconic car as a G-Wagon, and there is no things to change on that, only improve it. Like for example, the E e-plug i mean electric ev car so it's not electric itself but we're gonna make it as additional electric hybrid car just for fun but the suspension the frame the design of the car the interior the size of that we're gonna keep remaining the same just because it's super 
high demanded car and the people are gonna love it doesn't matter what so again in my understanding right now they are getting it's uh, number one right the facelift like i say modernization or uh they changing it once and after three four years they're gonna redesign it and redo the new body maybe it's already exists maybe you know about it i have no idea i'm not following that but three years from now it's going to be brand new car and brand new body but i don't think they're going to change it so much they might going to get rid of the they might going to get rid of the axles the single axles and they might going to do the mcpherson type suspension but again i'm not sure why they're supposed to do that if this car, the way it is, it's been improved itself. And like I say, it's on the high demand, same as a G-Wagon. There is no point to do something new or something super new with totally redesigned body. We can remain in the same, maybe change little things on it and the people still gonna buy it. If you wanna buy something else from the Jeep, but not the Wrangler, there's a lot of different colors available like the, the Cherokee, Grand Cherokee or Wagoneer. Again, I think that the Wagoner right now, they go in as a separate brand, like the Genesis with, uh, Genesis with the Hyundai. I'm not sure about that car. I mean, I need to try that one because that car has a lot of different things and it's super huge SUV. So for those cars, they are kind of fighting for the market because it is a SUV, family SUV for decent money but the wrangler there is nothing comparable again if you want to compare the same car to the toyota there is no toyotas yet you can compare to wrangler i mean the wrangler you can compare to g-wagon maybe the, but the price range it's totally different but the way you the 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 things you can do with wrangler you can modify that if you do have extra money for that or you can take it off-roading the way it is go up to the mounts or somewhere in the sand or somewhere in the uh, snow what else you can I mean, what, what other car you can do the same from the factory as a Wrangler? I don't think it's a many of those on the market right now, but if they are due, it's not the same again as a Wrangler. So what I would say, if you want to buy the Wrangler right now, don't wait long, just buy it and enjoy it because there is winter time is coming. And believe me, this car, you're going to love it as much as I do during the snow time if you live in somewhere not in california or if you are in california you want to go to big bear that's the perfect example of the car you want to take to and you're going to get a lot of fun and right now i'm going to go do some mountain hike on this car with my family with my kids see how it's going to go but pretty sure it's going to go well so we do have a short life and if you want to enjoy it for sure you have to buy one of the four by four car available on the market and the wrangler itself it's a perfect example you have to get so like i said before the cool thing about the jeep what you can do you can buy a lot of different stuff for example the doors itself you can buy it separate you can buy the short doors or you can take the doors out and just i don't know put something on it it's easy to remove it it's only a couple bolts for the hinges and that's it your door is going to be removed after you plug it off uh, the wires what's in the trunk in the trunk we are getting the same space as all the previous jeep wranglers but because it's electric we are getting the charger you can charge it at home or at work i think that's the pocket for the charger maybe something else and this thing i have no idea honestly what is that but it's always here in any jeep i think that's the cover for the trunk area once you remove the top so you can cover this one maybe maybe something else plus we do have a set to put the front plate but i'm gonna, not gonna do that yet maybe later on we'll see so we are the same there is alpine subwoofer on the side and like i say the jeep it's kind of unique it's like a lego so you can buy a lot of different stuff what the car doesn't have and you can put it on so there is a it's available everywhere i mean amazon or ebay or any other sources you can buy you can do a lot of modification in this car as long as your money available on your account yeah you're more than welcome to do so you can lift it up take it apart put it back or do any kind of crazy upgrades and uh, not the lay but in miami i did see a lot of crazy thing with 
what the people doing with Wranglers. They put in super huge rims, they taking all the possible parts out just to be kind of frame driving on the huge rims and they making it such a beautiful colors like the pink, super like the acid color green and all kind of stuff. And for some reason the Jeep Wrangler, it is kind of unique car. You can do that kind of crazy stuff. You can do upgrades and take this car up to the hills and maybe do some crazy off-roading with a lot of friends who has the same cars and who's crazy as you. Or you can do this car as a kind of fashion uh, thing in Miami and drive around on a huge 24, 25, maybe even bigger rims inch. And you're going to be super cool also. So I don't know what kind of car else you can do those kind of things. So there is a both, I would say, opposite. One is for stylish and other one for the off-roading, heavy off-roading. If you know any car like that, just put some comments below. And uh, because in my understanding right now, I know only a Wrangler. You can do both ways. So... It's been a while since I have this Jeep right now. And what I want to share with you guys, that's the, my opinion. Uh, my expectation about this car was a little bit different, to be honest with you. Because again, it's 2024, it's a Jeep Wrangler. And I was thinking they did a lot of improvements since this body was uh, already, how many years? Six years on the market. So 2018 came out. And uh, they've been doing, I think, the same about six years for now, five years from now. And again, so the guys from the new car store, Jeep, they told me, you know what, you should get 2024 because it's totally different car. There is a lot of improvements. There is a new dashboard, you know, the, the main screen is different. It's much bigger and uh, you're going to love it. I'm like. Are you sure I'm gonna love it? They're like, yeah, yeah, for sure you're gonna love it because because it's a nice car. I'm like, did they do any improvements on the suspension? And the guy's like, yeah, for sure. They they change it. They change something here, something there. Uh, it's supposed to feel different. So what I can tell you right now, it's not feeling different in my opinion, and it's not comfortable at all. Like it used to be not comfortable and right now it's still not comfortable, but at least I got the big screen in the middle. That's what's remind me like a G-Wagon style, I think. Uh, so it's still bumpy suspension. It's not comfortable at all. That's, uh, that's out of town car. So basically to drive this car in town, uh, I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all because, again, the the road condition in LA, it's not perfect. So this car, it's not built for that. So it's always bumpy, always. I mean, my kids on the back, they're going crazy if we're going somewhere far away or we sit in the car more than 30 minutes. And I'm going crazy too. I don't like it. So the space for my legs, not enough. Um, I'm always pushing some switches, you know, this uh, this wires and stopper for the door. It's always hanging and touching my in touching my leg i'm not feeling good because while i'm driving something is touching my leg so why i mean technology whatever it's not this car it's not about the wrangler the wrangler that's the car about to be not comfortable to be somewhere off-roading somewhere out of the town and doing some crazy stuff on it so you can remove the roof it's still here sound proven on this car it's still same nothing basically you do have the plastic roof there is nothing uh to eliminate the sound from the road or sound from the even from the engine so the engine we got 2.0 turbo same as alfa romeo so this uh car combined giving you 300 horsepower right there is something i think together with the battery but uh-uh it's super loud. The turbo is always making noise. Uh, it is powerful when you step all the way to the floor. So when you floor it, this car gives you a lot of power. So it's kind of jumping. Uh, it's kind of jumping. So that's kind of feeling okay. So what about uh, 
MPG. The MPG I have on this car that 16 Ford shows right now, but usually it's between 15 and 16. So what's the point to have a electric Jeep Wrangler? The point is you have to charge it all the time. Every time you're driving it, you have to be on the battery. Otherwise, you're gonna spend more money for the gas than V6. Why? Because V6 is gonna take flex fuel. So you can put E85 ethanol on that and this car, that car, gonna drive normal but this 2.0 turbo unfortunately not taking ethanol and probably i'm gonna destroy the engine if i'm gonna try to put it on so that's my mpg right now and after been driving about 700 miles i still have a 16.4 mpg that's not what i was expecting from this car the sound of the engine especially when it runs in the morning is just horrible i mean it sounds like a diesel or like the gas engine but something broken inside so what do we have here we do have the front camera yeah, why we need it i have no idea on the back we do have it we even can watch the camera on the front dashboard off-road pages yes yeah, so transfer case unlock we do have this kind of dodge style i mean a lot of different things nobody needed when you're driving when you're doing off-roading so we do have a nice navigation da -da 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 -da. so we have a nice navigation map that's super cool one nice area you know that's uh, 3d before my 2018 has about the same 3d stuff but not the way they made this one so we do have a media here home page we do have a climate control and some other stuff so right here we have a full generation i mean uh, max regeneration on the battery so basically when i push that one the car gonna stop almost itself without pushing the brakes so regeneration working so hard so what i can tell for the 700 miles on this jeep i mean i do like the quality of the steering wheel the leather i do like the quality of the seats i don't like the suspension i don't like the way the car drives i don't like the mpg on this car because this car it's only <clears throat> 2.0 turbo yeah it it has the battery so i can charge it i can drive it it's going to be much better but again it's not the way it's supposed to be on a two-wheel drive 2.0 engine so it's supposed to be economy but it's not at all so that's the minuses i don't like about the rest it's about the same i mean the climate control the the cool thing they still let the e-brake to be the manual not electric one like everybody doing it that's what i like about this so whoever so whoever did that space for the leg for the legs that's just i don't know that's super short super small human <laughs> because look look where i have a gas pedal so the way i supposed to put my foot in that's supposed to be something like that so it's not straight i supposed to be somewhere on the wall what's the floor mat floor mat for what so all this place right there it's always dirty I just vacuum this car but here it's always dirty because you're always touching it you're always scrapping it and that's the place i'm telling you it's always touching my leg while i'm driving it so basically if i'm trying to put my leg on the side i'm always touching this thing and when you're driving it it's just going up and down up and down up and down and believe me or not it is so annoying i have to put my foot somewhere but i cannot so i cannot squeeze my leg it's not comfortable i mean for me it just uh, it's not comfortable it's just a piece of car piece of equipment you can use it you have to use it by driving it outside of the city somewhere you're going off-roading you're taking your top off you know but it's not uh, enjoyable right that's what i don't like but i do like the way it looks probably like 20 years ago so it's about the same same old jeep we see it every day on the road so it doesn't matter you're driving 2005 
not 2005 okay 2005 a little bit different but 2010 or 2024 you feeling exactly the same way like i'm feeling but it's good it looks great i mean 66,000 for this car again in my opinion it's a little bit too much but i bought it for purpose and i'm gonna have it for a while it doesn't mean i'm gonna drive it every day but i have it so there is nothing i can do about it so let's see what's going on with <clears throat> suspension and what's going on on the bottom so basically we do have a battery right there we have no space between the road and the frame so basically that's why when you bind the jeep like that you always have to lift it otherwise there is no off-roading what you can do you know there is nothing you can do look that's my hand and i'm almost touching the ground that's just insane you are a legendary jeep wrangler but you are not that legendary until you're gonna spend some money and do the lift kit do some improvement on the suspension on the locks and this and that and that so what we have here as a cover lower cover for the engine just a piece of plastic so basically it's not gonna protect you from any kind of off-roading part ah any kind of rocks or something so we do have a uh i think it's a five links uh suspension and uh we do have a axle so it's basically one axle for the front suspension that's why it's bumpy that's why you're not feeling comfortable while you're driving this car uh thanks god it's not a leaf spring suspension <laughs> otherwise it would be even worse so on the back we have the same stuff as all the cars all the wranglers do have so there is a old style rear axle we do have that cover so now i understand why my 2018 somebody replaced the covers for the axle because this one as soon as you're going to hit the rock just a little bit it's going to get damaged it's going to get uh jumped and the oil gonna gonna go out from your axle when the oil gonna go out from your axle that's it you're basically going to be stuck somewhere in the middle of the mud or in the burning man if you went there so that's the battery pack right and again it's sitting right here i can touch the ground and the battery by doing that uh, so now really i don't understand how how you can enjoy it how you can buy that kind of jeep and drive it and tell everyone you are the the guy who loves jeeps so much so i do love this jeep when you go on off-roading when you're going up the hill and it can you know jump over the <clears throat> over the rocks go through the water but you have to put some money on it so basically you're buying it 63,000 plus taxes registration all that kind of stuff and you have to put on the top of it maybe like 20 25 the wheels are not designed to go off-roading so it's basically all season all type of um uh, all type of tires so you can drive in a seat you can do some off-roading but not to do off-roading only so thank you so much for watching it guys put some thumbs up put some comments below what do you think about the wrangler itself about all new generation jeep and especially about wrangler plug-in see you next time